Hey, welcome back to another edition of My Business Navigator. Today, we're going to be talking about vidIQ vision for YouTube. All that and more right on the other side of the intro. All right, so vidIQ vision for YouTube. What is the vision? What? I feel like I need a background with all types of wavy forms and rainbow colors and everything else. vidIQ vision. Well, it's really a great program, a plugin. And for Chrome and, and now this new uh, Edge that we have out with that's based off Chromium and then also we can get it for Firefox, vidIQ is, really helps a lot of entrepreneurs and YouTubers find specific niches that are not going to be overly saturated with competition as a new youtuber like myself i'm just starting out there's no way that i can compete against youtubers that have over a million followers i, I and subscribers uh, that as soon as they put out a video bam hundred thousand views right there when i put out a video it'll take me weeks just to reach a hundred views because i barely have a hundred subscribers Actually, right now, I think I just reached 135 or 36. So, woohoo for me. Thank you guys, by the way, for those of you that subscribed. Welcome again to My Business Navigator. I know that I'm jumping right into it, but I do got to say welcome to those of you that are first time to this channel. If you haven't been here yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you around. There's going to be that notification bell out there on the side, too. Give that a ring, all right? If you would, what that's going to do is that's going to inform you whenever I come up with another great video for your viewing pleasure, which I'm hoping today is going to show you a great tool to save you some time and show you uh, how to find those specific keywords and niches that you've been looking for where you have the opportunity to rank on YouTube at when people search for a specific term or specific trinket so today we're going over vidIQ we'll take a look at that as we get into my laptop here as I should say my screen let's go over to the screen here all right so here I have vidIQ tutorial I just pulled up but as we take a look at here the average subscriber for this is at 359,000 there's no way I can compete with that are you serious like craziness right but you see that there is a score of 80 out of 100 on this as because the search volume is so high a lot of people are really thirsting for vidIQ search term but at the same time the competition is extremely low so now that now that we have an idea if we want to do something vidIQ how do I find the right keywords that I can target and make videos around so instead of just saying vidIQ tutorial we need to try to look for longer what we call longer tail keywords that may that are longer and off to the side more now that i do have boost right now so you're going to see additional options that you might not see if you just have the free version my favorite option is is if i come in here i don't want any of this i don't want that i don't want the crack i don't want the boot no how about vid iq 87 all right so now here i can do the keyword inspector right and this is going to give me all different types of search terms and we see right here very low vidIQ vision for YouTube what is vidIQ vision <laughs> so vid you know this is all what you're seeing right now is vidIQ vision without vidIQ and I'll come back to the screen vidIQ gives you all this great information off to the side here and then also gives us this great overlay keyword inspector to be able to search for there's over there's almost half a million views the competition rank is 17 i may not get the top spot or or but i should be able to get to the first page with a competition of 17. now one thing that vidIQ does not do right here which is i kind of wish it would it would be nice is if they would actually allow for your competition uh ranking to actually be displayed here so if i have a particular uh, channel weight will be given to me or channel authority as I get more subscribers and more comments and more engagements and inter interactions on a channel my channel authority will rise in the YouTube ranks and YouTube will automatically allow me to start ranking for these harder well actually, let me do it like this for these harder search terms here that are up to 100 YouTube to be able to search for YouTube 
actually let me come back out and to be able to search for YouTube we'll do it over here YouTube and then I bet you without even looking at it before I'm going to have to be pretty darn you know 400 or I'm sorry 4.23 million subscribers this video this first video has more than 67 million views that is crazy nuts. And you see the average subscriber for this particular term is at 2.8 million subscribers. Okay. You know, I'm just not realistically, I'm not going to be able to, my YouTube authority is not there. So we're going to come back out of that. We'll go over here to, um, vidIQ keyword inspector. So, so if I wanted to drill down in vidIQ, once I find a particular search term that I like, sort of like this guy here, I would I can actually take a look at, these are the top 10 trending channels. And add, this is the keyword trending. They're not just the top channel right now, it, that their velocity, their views per hour are going up. So this lady here, she has 53 view, 53.8 views per hour uh, for this particular search term here. How to write Instagram well yeah trending videos in this niche right here so she's particular Instagram so uh, the reason even though it doesn't have this search term or this keyword in it what it does is it's actually looking okay this is a uh, technology software based how to do this particular thing for YouTube here this guy here I they are vidIQ channel what is vidIQ channel doing this is 33.2 uh, views per hour and it's very important to take this view per hour into account as you could have you can have a hundred thousand views you can have six hundred thousand views or you could have you know just four thousand views depending on when you posted the videos now if I just posted the video an hour ago and I already have like four thousand views my view per hour is going to be 4,000, which is just astronomically awesome. Hopefully it would be able to keep up that way, but usually it's not going to be able to be, right? And what's going to happen is, is it's going to go down. So if I were, if, on the other hand, if I were to have video with 600 views per hour, but it's taken me eight years, I posted the video back in 2012, my view per hour on that particular video is actually going to be very low because the viewership for that video is such a long period of time. Now, it doesn't just take the entire lifespan of your video. They do have a cutoff date. I believe it's, you know, view per hour is calculated somewhere in the last 30 days or something like that, or maybe a week or so. So this way you don't have all of the extra weighted stuff on the end. It waits your view per hour more towards the current stuff because it's trying we're trying to find the trends that are currently trending again this is only available through boost uh this section right here so as we come along and and again all of this is only available through boost all that you will have access to as a viewer are the first three keywords it will suggest here and it will be i believe it might be the most random uh random yeah related keywords the most three related keywords will be available to us but to be honest with you that's not always what we want we want to view the competition this is how i do it anyway i view the competition okay as i go down through competition wise what can i do does it have anything to do with what i want because my first and foremost worry is can i rank for it can i can i actually get my video in front of eyeballs so this way i can provide values and actually make a connection with customers and so here all these ones down here they're at zero 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 that which is really low competition the problem is is they're not even searched for so it doesn't do us any good now i have no idea this is another channel right there i don't necessarily want that this is another channel right there i don't necessarily want that download vidiq for android download all right what is the does it give me the ranking here to, well it's very low it doesn't i don't know why it's not giving me the ranking any oh it's dropping down something's going on with my uh, resolution so actually let's do this let's drop that all the way down and then bring this guy back up I have another screen, so I might not get a full reset. 
Okay, so we're going to go back into vidIQ and then with that tutorial, I'm going to look at vidIQ this guy. This is where we were at. So coming back along, okay, you see how it's dropping down. So something's going on with my resolution where it's dropping the dropping that down. And once I get so low down here, it doesn't show me anymore, which is kind of a bummer because it, that is uh, one of the one of the huge benefits to this product is being able to see what my ranking is. But pretty, I'm pretty safe if I'm in the very low range. So you see a lot of the cracked here. I'm not interested in that. This is a Russian. Don't know what that means. See here, free 2018. Nope, 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 nope. Did I Q Nope. Can't make it out. I'm not even gonna try to murder Russian guys. Sorry. <laughs> Like I understand what the letters say, it kind of mean if I took my time, I could probably figure it out, but nah, not gonna get there. This is a lot of a lot of requests. This is something that I would just do for the heck of it. Channel evaluate. Play that's probably a darn good one. Channel evaluation. Alright, so but then what I would do now is, you know, I would go down through and I would check ones that I would but like channel analytics. See, these have zero. Not going, not going to try. <laughs> As we go up, no, no. Want the free stuff. Go pro, that's good. So now I can copy these over to my clipboard and now if I wanted to actually I could just take these and take them in here. Let's get some results, find out so what it'll do is it'll cross. That's not what we want. But I, I could take those, I could take those and put them in document sort of like, oh actually what I would do, I would download those in CSV file. And then that would go into uh, Excel spreadsheet, and then from there I can I can continue drilling down, and that's actually what I do. I have a see that it has my FOIA links. I have a whole I have multiple sheets. As you can see here I have multiple sheets of all my keywords and affiliate links and all that type of stuff. Whenever I'm doing doing a project. These, this is what I follow through with and how I come up with the various videos that I make and the way that I make my videos and kind of how my speech is. So that is, this, the keyword inspector is just phenomenal. Now another part of uh, vision, uh, the, the vidIQ vision is we want to take a look at your channel audit, which my, wow, my resolution is all the way down here. So that's not going to help us out. Everything's down below. Interesting. Okay. So I obviously I have a a technical difficulty, but that's alright because vidIQ actually I can come over here to vidIQ analytics and it will take me to the actual vidIQ site and then on vidIQ I can basically see all that information that I had was looking at on that on my channel right there on YouTube. I have my YouTube SEO various SEO uh, stuff that I different suggested views my search terms and how many YouTube views I get and I can rate this over time I can set a specific amount of time if I wanted to I could do my, my YouTube overview 114 likes I have specific likes different likes on different days I have YouTube comments uh, subscribers gained over a certain period of time which you know all this is so I can be in a time range. So I have 145 subscribers that were gained on this time. I believe I lost a couple and see here, 147 comments, 175. So over right now I have 135 subscribers, right? But it gives me the trends, my top playlists, uh, my top search terms, top videos, countries. I can see the countries that mainly watch my videos. I got the United States, Philippines, United Kingdom, India, Brazil, Canada, Africa, uh, Malaysia, Ukraine, Russia, and Mexico. Well, I guess those guys there, they were not really watching. 
but I got a couple of views in, in Russia, which is pretty cool. But also the states and Philippines, and so it gives me all these here. So I'll, now kind of kind of gives me some cool stuff to go by there. I, my videos, URL embeds. So really, these here are all the same. You're just watching, them, seeing them in different different ways, if you will. Now the now we're going to get into some cool stuff when it comes to vidIQ. This is actually actually I'm going to jump over to my favorite, which is I really think is the coolest, which is my subscribers. This is with a boost and just phenomenal. I got to tell you, I really love having these insights right here. Is right here it gives me these couple channels, um, the top channels that my subscribers are watching and that are subscribed to. Why is that awesome in my opinion? To me, this is the ultimate hack. If you're familiar with Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, they're all about funnel hacking. It's looking at what your competitors do and finding ways to improve it and brand it. Make that, take what they do, remold it, take the, all the ideas and everything that could work from you, remold it into your image and what you what your personality is and what your channel is and then do the, do your thing. Well, since my subscribers, they're all watching these channels, I want to go watch these channels too. So this way I can understand what they're looking at, what they're doing, why they're reacting to it. What, what can I, what are they, are they doing something better that I can do as well? And then I can improve on top of my channels. Are there specific topics that they're covering? Is there specific values that they're offering that I can offer? All of that stuff there I want to take a look at. As well as some of the, well, it looks like mainly people that are watching my channel, they also watch music videos. But they all, you know, they also obviously are showing uh, videos here, Trump fails and the best of views caught up. So I can watch certain videos here that pertain to my niche and find out is there a sp specific reason why they want to watch my video and how can I prove upon that and I take out of that video and add into my video and and by the way you're not just taking out of their video and putting into your video you're you're taking the idea and concept you're making it your idea concept creating your own flair your own style and then doing it there's a big difference between copying and just and, and hacking uh, what we're doing what what I'm going to be doing there is funnel hack or should say YouTube video hacking I guess it would be the proper term so over here we got it into the descriptions uh, with the actual videos I should say you can get into the videos and this page here is actually pretty darn cool it kind of gives me my likes gives me a good overview how many times it's watched likes and comments and then can will also give me a view of how well the page is actually doing or how well the actual video is doing i should say right about there so also i come over here and take a look at my my competitors that i have competing that, that i've listed as a competitor so i would say you know my two my my gentlemen that i really like to follow that i learn a lot off of and i find that we kind of do somewhat competitive products so I like, I really like his style. I like the way that he does things. He he does have eleven thousand viewers on his particular channel, so he's not really a direct competitor to me. The guy is light years ahead of me right now. But this gentleman right here from Affiliate Tube, you know, he he does he kind he knows his stuff. He actually tries his products out, which I'm doing, which is what I try to do as well. Try my products out before I review them, really talk about them, and he tries to show. Uh, ways to make the product works and it gives you the goods and bads of the product if it could work for you if it could not work for you so with that said I believe that's going to really just take all the information that I have to really give to you about this vidIQ and uh, the boost product now I do want to pull up a uh, vidIQ.com here just to kind of go over the pricing with you a little bit and I'm going to show this to you now vidIQ boost this is currently what you're viewing all this stuff that you saw right now is the boost and you have you have a, a availability to improve existing videos with a bulk SEO boost where basically it's going to show you everything that you could possibly do on your channel or for that video so let's go to my videos 
we'll just pick a random video here to do this on to show you it's actually pretty darn cool and if you're looking for keywords to to put into your video and if you're looking for uh, tags if you're not ranking if you're looking for tag you can go to boost this video I believe you have 30 if 40 videos within 30 days so a little bit more than one video throughout the month you can do this with which is pretty nice and at the end of each month it reloads so it'll if you see here what it did is it just showed me competitive videos it'll give me any controversial keywords in there and it will give me a full list of a bunch of different tags that it would suggest now since I I can just directly add these on here now what I do like about this particular screen and what vidIQ does is if you notice there I have a weight class zero so in it and it does what it what that does for me is I can actually look at the competition score right there you see that it says 38.4 competition score I have a weight class of zero which means that I've, it's a red flag for me probably don't even want to try to rank for it and I think most of the you know most of the tags that I go through I pretty much <laughs> pretty much won't be able to do anything with but it's worthwhile to check to see if there is a anything that will pop up step by step tutorial I think that's gonna put me over that'll put me over so just look through I don't see anything that's going to come up go so there's nothing there that I see will be able to assist me I can come off to the side here I SSL I'm not doing an SSL certificate in this particular video you can look at the videos and see what they SEO advice that I could throw in there that's not gonna be bad although again you know competition score is at a 22 I'm not gonna be able to get 22 but hey uh, it does have a search volume cert keyword search volume of zero which is not really the best of things how to rank numbers and I Oh, nope. Search term. Uh, that one there would have probably been better. Is there anything else that I can off? Kind of get me close, and I'll put this guy back in there. Oh, pick me over. So, you know, for me, it gets to the game of mix and match. How can I, how can I rank in there? Ranked number one on Google, I'm, I'm number 30 on, which is not bad, just for throwing that in there. So you can actually see right there, I'll be ranked. Uh, this should tell me that I'm ranking number 30 for this particular keyword, which isn't too bad since it has a pretty decent search word vo keyword volume, right? Now that all, all that I need to do is actually find something. Web design builder. Just to save it, and then I'll save it there. And so now I'll come over, come back to our pricing. Now on the pricing, it has the monthly and it has the yearly. Okay, this is uh, important because the monthly, if you pay yearly, you're going to save a little bit of money. Uh, on the boost, you're going to save $10 a month. You see $39, and if I pay monthly, it's $49, $50 a month. That's a bit steep for a channel my size. And probably what I'm going to end up doing is backing down to the pro. But as my channel grows, with all the bells and whistles that it has and as i'm able to produce more videos and actually as i start getting paid for producing my videos boost is definitely going to be a great option for me that i'm going to be looking at in the future because just because of the simple fact that it saves so much time and allows me to go back and analyze all my channels it gives me access as i mentioned the biggest thing that i really love on it is I believe the boost this is only available in boost right here I will do another review showing showing this particular screen when I uh, downgrade the pro so this way you my viewers will be able to see this but I believe this is only available in the boost so that would be one big item that I want to upgrade for as well as the fact of being able to have all these different you know 
being able to boost basically if I post one video a month being able to boost every single video and have have a bunch of tag suggestions right there at my fingertips for me and I don't have to be searching a bunch of different places for the tags but so that's that's all worthwhile stuff to be noting for as my channel grows this is going to be a plan that I'm looking for let me know what you guys think if you if you use vidIQ if you don't use vidIQ why not even if you use the free version as you can as you saw in the previous videos vidIQ actually helped a lot in being able to find videos I should say certain keywords and niches to be able to search for and make videos on that a lot of other people are searching for where that particular void isn't felt isn't filled yet and that's what I did with when I create started creating a bunch of videos for uh, groove funnels and groove pages and if we go back to my ch to the channel analytics here the number one thing that the number one term that my channel is known for in searches is groove funnels tutorial groove funnels groove funnels versus click funnels groove funnel all groove funnel stuff right I started doing groove funnels and from and looking at groove funnels and groove funnels review back months ago when before these guys before group funnels was even popular and the search was up I mean it was way down here is that actually everything was 50 50 whenever you did anything group funnels and now it's been moving up through the ranks uh, quite a bit and you see here that that there's certain individuals who have 12,000 subscribers you have 400 subscribers which is four times the size of my channel 6,000 subscribers on YouTube that are ranking for and have obviously bumped me down as well but that's okay I can come back and make additional videos towards groove groove funnels group pages review and and give different tips and tricks and, and insights on the particular uh, group funnel so with that said guys I hope that you that you enjoyed the video if you did leave a comment down below and also give me give the video a like I greatly appreciate it remember that helps with my page authority and remember till next time don't forget keep on digging those wells don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it. all right talk to you guys later bye <laughs>